Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be walking through the inventory tracker in both Google Sheets and Excel. If you have already purchased this tracker, thank you so much for your order. And if you stumbled across this video, I'm going to be including a link below uh, to the tracker. Feel free to purchase and follow along if you're looking for a good place to track inventory, sales, and your vendors. Uh, I'll be hopping back and forth between the Google Sheets and Excel version. Feel free to follow along in either, and let's get started. So when you open up your tracker, this dashboard is going to be the first thing that you see. It's going to look pretty blank. <laughs> This will all populate and come to life as we populate uh, the three tabs down here. So let's get started. I'm actually going to start with the vendors tab right here. For the sake of example, I populated in some vendor names, all of their contact information, the materials or the services provided, whether it's materials, shipping, or advertising. We also have a vendor status. So you can keep track of prospective, current, and past vendors. You can also give your vendors a rating up to five stars and then some notes. If you have a good or bad encounter with your vendors, uh, feel free to make that note as well. So the next tab I'm going to start with is the inventory tracker, and we're going to start populating some of this together. So this is where you can actually start to populate all of the different items and those that information um, in this tracker. So for the sake of example, I'm just going to start populating a couple different things here. And then this vendor tab, the reason I wanted to start with the vendors is it's actually automatically pulling in the different information that you put under vendors. So just for the sake of example, I'm going to change uh, vendor one to vendor 100. And I'm going to hop back over here and you're going to see that vendor 100 is now available as well. So that's really cool. Um, the item category, I have 12 categories in here really just to get you started. Uh, this is all customizable. So to edit your item category in Google Sheets, you would just come down here and click the little edit button. That's going to open up this screen on the right hand side for you. And then you are going to be able to uh, type in um, any customized uh, category. And then you can change the colors, you can do whatever you want there. Um, and then you'll click done. So when you click done in Google Sheets, this is going to pop up on your screen. You're definitely going to want to click apply to all. And the reason for that is then you'll see customized category one is there, but then it's also going to be uh, down there for you as well. So feel free to customize the categories as you see fit, and that would be helpful for your business. At this point, I am going to bring up Excel because customizing that column is just a little bit different in Excel. So hopping over to the inventory tracker, um, you're going to navigate to column E, and you are going to, with your mouse, hold down to select E5 all the way to the bottom of your spreadsheet here, all the way down to E1000. And then you are going to click on data up here in the top ribbon. You're going to click on data validation. And then it's going to bring up this list for you right here. So then what you're able to do is either delete everything in here and then start typing in your own uh, categories, or you can just customize everything as well. The one thing in Excel that I'm going to point out is commas. Once a uh, single comma separates each uh, category option, and you don't want to space on either side of the comma. So you'll see category one, no space comma category two. That's really important. Um, and then when you have made all of your changes, you'll go ahead and click OK. And then any of your changes will show up in this entire uh, sheet for you as well. So hopping back to the Google Sheets version, um, the next thing on your list is going to be the quantity section for your inventory. Uh, here you can start typing in um, how much quantity you have in stock of each individual item. Uh, quantity sold is actually going to automatically calculate for you. So nothing you need to do uh, in this column. And then your quantity left is automatically calculating for you as well. This column, column I, is going to be your minimum stock. This is going to be how many of each item you want to have on stock. Um, and this, this is going to be really important. Um, if for whatever reason your quantity left falls below your minimum stock, this field, uh, this column will automatically turn red for you just to signal to you that, hey, it's really time to reorder. <laughs> Progress sold, this is going to automatically calculate for you as well as we populate the sales tracker. So I'll hop back here to show you how that comes to life. And then here is going to be where you can put in your items that are in stock, low stock, and out of stock. Um, and then scrolling over to the profit section, this is going to be where you can put in how much you paid per item. So this, maybe you pay $3 uh, per that item. This is going to be really helpful from a cost standpoint because it's automatically going to calculate how much it costs you to have this item in your inventory. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put in your sales price of what you want to charge customers for this. 
And this is going to be super helpful as well, because then you can easily track uh, your expenses and your profit associated with each inventory item. So in this case, uh, revenue is going to automatically populate for you shipping, packaging, and advertising, as well as profit. So in order for all of the rest of these columns to come to life, I am going to go over to the sales tracker. So the sales tracker is going to be where you track individual orders for your inventory items. So you're going to start with an order date here. And then under item name, you're actually going to see that they automatically pull in for you from your inventory tracker. So anything you type in item name here is going to automatically be linked over here, which is really nice. Um, you'll put in the status, you'll put in your tracking number, the date that you shipped it, the date that it was delivered to your customer, days to complete automatically calculates for you. And then you'll put in how many your customer ordered. Um, the sales price is going to automatically pull in for you from your inventory tracker. Whatever price you added in there will show up here based on the item that you select. Your revenue is going to automatically calculate, and then you can go in and put in how much you paid for shipping, packaging, and advertising if those are applicable to your business. Um, and then it's automatically going to populate that as well. So let me just add in a couple more orders just for the sake of example. Okay, so hopping back to the inventory tracker, you're going to see that a couple of these other columns are starting to populate, which is great. Um, so here it's going to automatically calculate the quantity sold. And what's really nice is on the sales tracker, um, you might have orders of the same item and that's great. It'll automatically calculate the, quant the total quantity that you have sold and it's going to automatically sum that number right there for you. Uh, the quantity left, it's going to calculate. And then here's a really good example of this coming to life. So if your minimum stock is less than the quantity you have, or is greater than the quantity you have left, it's going to automatically mark that in red. In this case, you have sold 100% of this item, so you really need to, to reorder. We can change that to out of stock. Um, the progress sold column, this is just a little bar graph that's automatically going to update for you as the percentage sold updates as well. And then coming over here to this section, your revenue is going to automatically update. And then you'll see too, it automatically pulls in the total shipping, packaging, advertising. It'll calculate your profit for you as well. So then you can easily see what items in your inventory are more profitable than others. Um, on this sheet, it's really important just to know uh, that the inventory tracker, the sales tracker, and then the vendors, it's important to not uh, reorder or add additional or uh, delete any columns throughout here. It'll just mess with the formulas. Um, so if you are on this sheet and say you do not use you know, one of these, one of these columns, you can always hide the column as opposed to deleting it. Um, and that would be my recommendation just to not alter with any of the formulas. And then last, but certainly not least, going back to the dashboard here, you're going to see this come to life as well. So you're going to see your total sales calculates, your revenue, all of your total expenses, your profit and your profit margin. And then it'll also break down your inventory here as well. This is a quick area where you can see low stock items, out of stock items. So this is a one stop shop to be able to quickly glance at uh, to know where you are at with your business as well. So thank you again uh, for following along and I will see you in the next video.